Paul Robeson went here, the famous black communist. Oh, we oh communist. Should we be celebrating that? Are you triggered? No, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> I believe, you know, communism is a great thing, actually. The idea of communism is, like, absolutely liberating. It's the idea of, like, embracing a collective spirit to, um, like, build a better world. Yes, resist. What are you resisting? I'm resisting you, bitch. Wow, very <laughs> progressive and brave. Is this a show? Yes! You're live right I'm now. Live. Oh, what yeah, we're, we're live right now. This show is a Liberty Hangout show. Liberty Hangout. Subscribe, hit the subscribe, notification please. bell. S notification, subscribe. Can you tell us Liberty Hangout number one YouTube channel? Subscribe. Give Liberty, us a wait. Liberty Hangout number one YouTube channel. Subscribe to them. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. question for you. Hi guys, do you want to oh, do a group interview here? You look cute. You got to show that outfit off, okay? All right, real quick, I won't hold up, hold you guys up. Me and James it are both white people. Like okay. we we are in the oppressive class, and like oh. we recognize. Do, am I in the oppressive class? Yeah, yes. just like we, we benefit from white privilege in a way that like it's not it, it's not obvious, but it's in a more subtle way. Um, I mean, look around. Do you see any indigenous people? Yeah, I talked to a lot today, actually. Really? Um, what tribes were they from? I didn't ask because that's not important to me. But it is. The, do you know the history? It's not important do you know the to me. Of this campus. Tell me about it. This was built, most of it was built by slave labor. Why are you here? Many buildings have the names of slaveholding families. Why do you go in them? Well, because Rutgers has a legacy also on top of this with really radical politics. Paul Robeson went here, the famous black communist. Oh, we, oh, communist. Should we be celebrating that? Are you triggered? No, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> I believe, you know, communism's a great thing, actually. I mean, obviously, it's been implemented in ways that haven't been effective in some, in some Can capacity. you show me where it's believe, been effective? I believe naturally humans hold a collective spirit. We are not atomized individuals. Neoliberalism has torn through humanity. So in individualism is out of the picture. I believe we all have individual rights and the right to self-determination, as Palestinian people do as well. Um, Very brave. Yes. And I also believe that naturally we are innately collective. And I believe that we all exist in a mosaic of humanity. And I think the fact that the capitalist system and neoliberalism has completely destroyed that um, produces ideologies like the far right that believe that so in some ways eco-fascism is a direct result of that. My God, you were throwing out all these really crazy weird terms, eco-fascism. No, yeah. they are. Like, well, honestly, I mean, like, if you talk to a normal person, eco-fascism, that, that's really stupid. The L shooter self-identified as an eco-fascist. He wrote a manifesto about the climate crisis. He said he accepted the science and then scapegoated black and brown people mm -hmm. um, as, a, as a scapegoat for the climate crisis. This is real threats that we're dealing with. Okay. And I think to say that they're not real problems really minimizes... I never said that. I said it's silly. What, what is eco-fascism? What is that? It's this idea that it's a branch of far-right politics. Usually far-right people don't accept the fact that climate change is a real pressing problem. What do you think about this? You're just a bystander. What do you identify with? Are you a right-wing, left-wing? Don't really care? Don't really care. Okay. I'm in the middle. Okay. What about eco-fascism? Are you contributing to that? Mm, I wasn't really listening to anything that was just said. I don't blame so. you. If you want to walk away, you're totally yeah, wait, free to. You look like you name, have more. Is your name Caitlin Bennett or something? It is, yeah. Oh, I've seen you. I don't know. Okay. All right. Have a good day. <laughs> All right. Very cool, guys. I mean, I wouldn't be, if you're that conscious about slavery and the Native Americans, I wouldn't be on this campus if you told me all that crazy history. But, I mean, but it is really fair. weird that it you're okay with communists being here. So we can... The yes, whole... I need the education. No, no, I didn't yeah. say that. I said we, like, are here getting an education okay, so we I'm can sorry. better the systems that we do believe are, like, structurally oppressing people. Like, it's not fair to just say, like, uh, we recognize that the history is problematic, but there's also a positive history that James, like, very diligently pointed out. Communists We're... came out of the school. Communists, that's... radicals, just people who, like, think that's in positive. a different way. I mean, w radical is, like, an inherently positive Communists, thing. that's okay. Yes. The idea of communism is like absolutely liberating. It's the idea of like embracing a collective spirit to um, like build a better world. I mean, 
what do you have like a defense of this instead of just like acting shocked like can you give me something to work with yeah so i think communism is inherently wrong because it strips away the individual there's no more individual so people can't be looked at as you're an individual you're an individual you're all different you all have the right to do and be what you want to do and be and believe in communism takes away that ability to be who you are it puts you in a collective to where thought is no longer about the individual it's a collective thinking yes it is and then inherently communism is wrong because it's based off of theft communism is not okay because you don't have the right to your property under communism inherently every person has a right to their property you don't have the right to your property no well right now we're not living in a communist system but i'm willing to give up Personal property is a capitalistic notion that has been embedded in us, so we think that it's the right thing to do. Because Why isn't it right to have your property and have a right to your property? Because you, like, private ownership is directly related to like the exploitation of the people who are creating the, the thing. So consent to trade with an individual oh. is exploiting? I'm not, oh. hold on, I'm talking to her. No, wait, consent to trade. That's not yeah. what I'm saying. Where, <laughs> when, when did trade become a point? When you of talk about capitalism is right. wrong because it exploits people. Yes. So okay. consensual so trade, if you want to go consensual back. trade, I'm talking to her. <laughs> consensual trade yes. is explo- exploitation. Consensual trade is not happening in capitalism. We're not, it's not a consensual barter trade system. Is fine. Everyone's on the same playing yes. field. Yeah. Capitalism does not produce even outcomes for people. Right. I work That's with- the point. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It's trading. I mean, if you want to it's competition. Everybody no, yes. else. Wait, we Some people inherently are people. better. What Get a we- job? <laughs> what if we live in a system? We what don't. If- we don't. We don't. So- yeah, have you read the New Jim Crow? We don't. We don't live in a society. I see different colors of people okay, all around me, me every day. Just give me. Give me the evidence. Why- how do we not live in a society? <laughs> so why are thirteen percent of black and black people disenfranchised right now? Because that, half because, it's, because, because thirteen black people deserve that. I did not say that. No, I don't think anybody inherently deserves something based on the color of their skin. To me why thirteen percent of black people are disenfranchised in this country? So thirteen percent of the population is what makes up black people. Millions, millions of people are disenfranchised okay. because of the systems tell me the this system country is based on tell me the system mass incarceration the prison industrial complex the military industrial complex are all perpetuated on the notion that black and brown bodies are less than white bodies so that's in the law that is prescribed in the law yes can you show me I where show what's the law? law the 13th amendment says it abolishes slavery except for the fact of people in jail right so it's like you have this issue of mass incarceration because black people are for the same crime The same amount of times they're committed, they are incarcerated more times because they don't have resources to get a lawyer. They don't have resources to get um, any legal defense, so they're put in jail, right? Then they're stripped of the right to So they're put in jail because they don't have a legal defense? Yeah. You have the right to an attorney. You have the right to a paralegal. It's different. A private attorney has way more political power, way more social capital than a paralegal does. It's really disappointing. You guys guys think so lowly of black people in this country that you think that they inherently do not have these resources. Why do you think they black people are so below you? Why are why are they because so they below you? They've been for 400 years. Dude, have you read a f- book? So they're inherently below. You guys act like they can't do anything on their you own. Say they're inherently you you want to talk because about guys, you the guys want to talk about a prejudiced us. system and a prejudiced society. The only people I see putting black people down below them is you guys, white liberals, white communists liberal. that sit there and say, "What are you?" I'm like a democratic socialist. Okay, a communist. So you guys are the ones saying black people, based on their skin color, can't do X, Y, and Z. No. Yes, you are. The system did that to them. We're not saying they're inherently. And then there's that communist collective ideology. Yes, resist. What are you resisting? I'm resisting you, bitch. Wow, very (laughs) progressive and brave. Like, I don't understand what you're trying, like, can you just tell me what you're trying to accomplish? Because I want to, I want an open dialogue with you, but you're not giving well, me you just called me a b- Do you really want an open dialogue yes, when you're I calling want- me names? Because I want you to give Will me, you apologize? Like, evidence. I'm sorry for calling you a b- Alright, thank sorry. you. That's a Ken State, too. Yeah, I'm sorry that you were there sucking b- So, actually, just for the camera, <laughs> this guy was at a party at Kent State. I don't know what you were doing there, but he was giving out free b- jobs. He wanted nothing he in was, return. Bro. He yeah. <laughs> I guess I was. Why were you giving out free bl- jobs? Communism. Yeah. Give it to you know, everyone. collective spirit. Yeah. Share Distribute the wealth. Redistribute the wealth. Okay. The wealth is his penis. All right. You guys think you're acting funny, but I encourage you to look at this video after we put that in there. This is going to be great.
We are running a huge sale at CaitlinBennett.org. A lot of things are 50 to 70 percent off on the site. Not only does it help me and fund what I do to come over here and be able to film these crazy interactions that are still going on, you could probably still hear in the background, but it also helps you. Everything that we sell helps you. It's not something that you're never going to use again. It's something that's going to help your life, help you live a better life, a healthier life, and you need it. So, if you brush your teeth, get toothpaste from CaitlinBennett.org instead of Walmart, who doesn't support what you guys support. They just banned open carry. You don't want to buy it from there. Buy it from CaitlinBennett.org. Support me and get the best toothpaste ever. Cheap gas. Who likes cheap gas?